Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to cover everything that happened in the world of money last week, the week of December 11th, and everything that is going to happen this week. So first, a general look at the stock market. On Monday, it went up a bit, and then sadly, it was just bad news from there, and it fell about 4 or 5% depending on if you look at the Dow or the S&P or the Nasdaq. And this week was a bit of a roller coaster of news, but it ended up being more bad than good. So it started off strong with the inflation news, which was better than expected. Inflation was expected to increase by 0.3% and it actually only increased by 0.2%. So really just any time it's less than the expectation, that's good news. However, right after that, we heard from the Fed that they were going with their half a percent raise on interest rates, which is good because originally we thought they might do a 0.75% raise on interest rates, which would have really sent the market in a tailspin. So why did the market go down? And the answer is that we were kind of hoping that the Fed was going to kind of ease up on raising rates in the new year, and instead they doubled down and they said they will continue to raise rates throughout next year. I wish there were a completely painless way to restore price stability. There isn't, and uh, this is the best we can do. And even though there's been two better than expected inflation reports, the Fed still feels like it has a lot more work to do. So to help you out, if you're thinking about the Fed's increasing the interest rates, how does this really affect you? Why does it hurt the stock market so much? And one good example is looking at the prime interest rate. So the prime interest rate is essentially the lowest interest rate you could possibly get on a loan from a bank. And the way of calculating it is generally the federal interest rate plus 3%. So if you look at this chart over the past two years, the lowest interest rate you would get on a loan from a bank went from a low of 3.25% to 7.5%. And realistically, almost no one's going to get the prime interest rate. Most people get significantly higher. So this could affect you when you're buying a house, buying a car, taking out like a commercial loan, really doing anything. So you might think, oh, it's just half a percent, but it really impacts you, it impacts businesses, and it makes the stock market go down all at the same time. So while things could have been a lot worse if we got a 0.75% raise, the news of continuous interest raises really kind of set the market in a bad mood. And while the stock market was already doing bad, then we got even worse news. And that was that sales in November fell compared to sales in October. So in October, there were $693 billion of sales. And in November, there was only $689 billion of sales within the United States. And I know you're pretty smart, so you might be thinking, oh, October has 31 days and November has 30. However, even though there's an extra day in October, there's Black Friday, and there is Cyber Monday within November. So we were really hoping for an increase in sales compared to October. So when we got the sales report for November, the stock market just went from doing bad to doing worse. However, if you look at it in the grand scheme of things, really a three or four percent decrease in the stock market, not too major, you shouldn't freak out, it's, it just happens. So now that you know what happened last week, what is going to happen this week? There are several companies that have earnings reports coming out, such as Nike, General Mills, FedEx, and various other companies. But more importantly, there are several reports on housing sales, such as existing house sales, new house sales, and amount of houses that were built within November. And this will really help us see how the housing market will do over the next few months. And then finally, there are several third quarter reports that are coming out this week, such as the third quarter GDP growth rate, and the consumer spending report. So now that I've gone over that, it's time for your favorite part of the video, the joke of the day. Joke of the day, joke of the day, boop, joke of the day. What caused the price of grapes to rise? There was a raisin demand. So thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and stick around for more videos, including this, which I think will be a weekly segment. Unless the videos do terrible, I guess.